If you are looking to grow your booty to look just as nice as this, this workout is going to be so good for you. This is an at-home workout with optional equipment that's great for beginners and great for people that are more advanced. I specifically designed this workout to really engage all parts of your glutes. So this is going to be a great all-around booty workout that's pretty easy to do. It does not require any jumping. This is just going to be really straightforward. I explain in detail how you need to do the exercise properly to get the best results and it's ultimately just a really good workout. So without further ado, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right on to the workout. All right, first exercise we have are going to be a 100 hip thrust that we're going to section off into two parts of 50. So what you're going to do is lay flat on your back, then dig your heels into the ground, and then you're going to lift the tips of your toes upward. And you wanna make sure that when you lift up, your glutes is what's pushing you and you're squeezing your glutes, and you also want your core to be tight and your back to be straight. Because if it's not in this correct position, you're really not gonna be engaging your glutes at all. Also, when you lift up, you want to keep your knees straight and don't let them pull out to the side or pull in because if your knees are moving, that's a sign of weak glutes and that you're not actually engaging your glutes enough. So make sure that all of this stays straight and aligned the entire time. So we're gonna be doing 50 of these where you lift up, squeeze at the top, and then at the very last one, we're going to be doing 10 pulses. So on the 50th one, you're gonna squeeze up and then do 10 pulses right at the top. Guys, we got four left. Four, three, two, one. Hold that top. Let's do 10 pulses right here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. There we go. Now we're going to have an 85 second rest. You can use this time to stretch your booty out, get a little rest, breathe a little bit. But then after that, we're gonna go right back to the next 50. Oh 
make you nervous A tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way You think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change, oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm Once you cover up my bruises and battle scars But it always ends the same Can't bear the things I've had to face Got you crying on your knees in pain Oh, some things never change, never change oh. You break your back to make me feel it Stopped asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools dread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment Alright, four left Four Three Two One Squeeze Let's do ten pulses Ten Nine Eight seven six five four three two and one now we're going to have a nice two minute rest the next exercise we're going to have are 25 laying fire hydrants on both sides so all you're going to need for this is resistance bands and what you're going to do is lay flat on one side bring your legs up into a 90 degree angle then you're going to take one leg, lift it up, and really squeeze the glutes at the top, and then bring it back down, and just keep repeating that, and you're gonna be doing that 25 times. You wanna make sure that your back and core are straight and a little bit angled forwards, so when you're lifting up, you're not gonna have any pain in your lower back, and it's gonna be your glutes that are getting the majority of the movement. Four, three, 
two. One squeeze and we are done. Now we're gonna have a 20 second rest to give you time to move on to the other side. So we're just gonna be doing 25 again. have a one minute rest next up we're going to do 35 laying rainbows which literally just requires you to lay flat in your stomach lift your hips up slightly off of the ground take your legs spread them out and then loop them back together and just keep repeating that having your hips lifted up slightly off the ground is very important and that's going to keep your glutes engaged the entire time and you also want to squeeze your core and make sure your back is straight because if you're not you're going to actually cause a lot of pain in your lower back so that'll let you know if you're doing it correctly or not because you should only be feeling this in your glutes now you can use resistance bands for this if you're more advanced but if you're a beginner don't worry about it three two one and that is it now we have a two minute break coming up and the next thing we're going to do are straight leg pullbacks you can either do this standing up or on all fours i just did it standing up but for this what you're going to do keep your core and back straight and tight then you're going to take your leg kick it up and out and then bring it back in and just keep repeating that you want to make sure that when you're doing this your foot is in a straight tight position so when you kick up your glutes are going to be engaged the entire time and make sure that it's your glutes that are pushing you up and not your thighs or your back because that's not going to be engaging the glutes near as much now for this i'm using ankle weights since i'm going to be kicking up i need something to give me a resistance so ankle weights are definitely necessary but if you're a beginner don't worry about it
right, four, three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna have a 10 second rest here and then we're gonna go do the next 30 on the other side. Expectations take you weigh me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I wanna live inside the upside down. For a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. And if I say it enough, it gets in green. Okay, four, three, two, one, and rest. We have a 75 second rest here. And the next thing we're going to do are 30 curtsy lunges on both sides. So what you're gonna do is start off standing straight up with your legs out slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Then in the curtsy lunge, you're going to take one leg, keep that straight on the ground, making sure you're applying pressure in your heels and that's what's pushing you up. And then you're going to take one leg, cross it behind and to the side of the other leg. And you're going to make sure your knee's bending down and you're having a lot of weight in the heel of your foot that's not moving. Then you're going to push yourself back up into that standing position and then just keep repeating that. I'm keeping ankle weights on for this to add more resistance and if you're a beginner don't worry about it. But you want to make sure when you're doing this your back is straight and your core is tight and you're really getting the engagement in your glutes. So you don't need to go really fast for this. Slow and controlled is going to be the best. Right, four, three, two, one, and you are done. Now we're gonna have a quick 12 second rest to shake out your legs, and we're gonna be doing the same exact thing on the other side.
is four, three, two, one, and we are done. Now we have a two minute break, and the next exercise we're going to do are hip thrust pulses for 45 seconds. So you're gonna get back in that same hip thrust position from the first exercise we did, Take the tips of your feet, lift them upwards, and then what you're going to do is push your glutes up, do five pulses, come back down, push up again, and then continue doing those five pulses and coming back down the entire time. Yet again, I'm going to be using a resistance band and a 20 pound weight to make this even harder, but if you're a beginner, yet again, don't worry about it. Alright, now we're having a quick 25 second rest and we're going on to our last exercise which is going to be 20 sumo squats with 10 pulses at the very end. I'm keeping a resistance band and adding some weight here so what I'm going to do is get in a position where I'm standing up, my legs are slightly out wider than shoulder width apart and my feet are angled outwards so when I squat down this is really going to be getting my actual glutes. So you're going to squat down, make sure your back and core are straight and tight the weight needs to be in the back of your heels when you squat down and then you're going to push up with that and squeeze your glutes at the very top and just keep doing that for 20 rounds and then at the very end you're going to do 10 pulses. that is it you have completed today's workout and you have done it you have completed this wonderful workout i am so proud of you for finishing this workout and i know this workout is going to give you the best results with that being said though if you want to help support me and boost this video on the algorithm so others can see this workout don't be shy and go ahead and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, wah, have a beautiful day.